Hey everyone, WandaBots here, and welcome to Arcadian Atlas, a tactical RPG in the same vein as Final Fantasy Tactics, Tactics Ogre, and so on and so forth. And apparently, according to everybody that I've seen talk about this game, it's like actually possibly one of the best games in the genre. So we're just going to dive right in and see how it goes. It's a pretty immediate start too, and oh boy, those pixels. They remind me of my childhood. And you were given the keys, correct? Yes. Yeah, they were kind enough to reach out. The uh, the PR guy has specifically reached out for a couple of games in the past. Welcome to Arcadia, a land that never forgets. How does the land never forget? What do you think? Every crime is inscribed upon every Built stone. Built by forces more ancient and unsearchable than its soil, ashes of forgotten wars are said to still live in the water beating against its unforgiving shores. Wait, hold up. It never forgets, but ashes of forgotten wars. A contradiction? <laughs> Sorry, continued. I didn't know that if you progressed every single part or not. Its people fought for peace. And after many years, it came when the, wait, Dentalian throne? Entropis finally crushed Sarov. Oh, Sarov forces. In the eastern land of Volan. It's always interesting, uh, kind of stumbling over all of the... This font is hard to well, parse. Well, no, no, it's just you try to figure out how to pronounce the names of kingdoms and armies. Without reading and... it beforehand and rehearsing, yeah. Yeah. But peace is such a tenuous thing. Looks like a queen of some sort and a knight. A beloved king is now on his deathbed. A new wife hungers for his place. As queen absolute. The king's only remaining children have been declared illegitimate. The younger, barely old enough to wed, the elder unwilling to serve any man. One shall seek a life stolen from her, awakening things so dark she cannot hope to contain them. The other seeks a crown deprived her. setting fire to the kingdom she hopes to win as her own. And caught in the midst of the flames, our heroes. Two lovers brought together by war, refined in peace and threatened again as their country tears itself apart. But can love survive when nothing is as it seems, and alliances crack against the fires? Come on, game, don't you bait me with the power couple and break them apart immediately. This is Arcadia, born from the ashes. If you look hard enough, you can see the flames rise anew on the land that never forgets. Well, what about those forgotten kingdoms and wars? <laughs> what about them? This is the story of its burning. I know one of the developers is at least Scandinavian. Uh, or okay. I think. Um because it's the uh, the wife of the developer of Iconoclasts had oh. like was involved in this, and that's how I knew of it beforehand. Okay, I see. It looks like for the at least these portrait images, they're going for more of an Art Nouveau. Yeah. Style, looks and then nice. they have the pixels. Milady, the enemy draws near. It is nearly time. So this is Lucretia. So Lucretia is the elder daughter, right? Yep. 
the one who wants to start a war in order to reclaim the throne from, I presume, an evil stepmother, because yeah. I can only assume that it's the young wife of the king who wanted the elder children made illegitimate. Yep. Yes, thank you, Yuri. Ida, the time is nearly here. Take this. Oh, Ida kind of looks like a Valkyrie of some sort. Yep. They will not take me, milady. I assure you this. Please, Ida. If they do, you know what will happen to you. Neither of you have to do this, you know. We can find others. We will serve the cause with honor, milady. So this character is called Vashti. We will serve the cause with honor. Wait, is that the main character? Uh, one of the two, yeah. Oh. There will be 100, maybe two, in three camps. Stand your ground. Even if Wolf or Elon could lead the charge. Oh, yo, know, even if Wolf or Elon should lead the charge. No matter what should happen, stand your ground. It will be done. I thank you. Though I can give you nothing else, I give both of you my thanks. We will see you all again soon. Till the rightful rule, milady. Till the rightful rule. Till the rightful rule. Yes, sooner than you think. And Ida, please look after her. The sweet thing is still green. And literally dressed in green. <laughs> oh. She's right. There must be some things I can teach you before this fight. Alright, here we go. So, oh, we only have two characters. Well, we might as well move them up. Move them here. Yeah, this is this is very standard for what I'm used to. Open unit selection. Unfortunately, we have no other units. Commence fight? Yes. But where are the enemies? Where are they coming from? Uh, there they oh, are. Oh, there they are. Huh. It's interesting how jazzy the music is. Yeah, I noticed that too. Like, I figured it would be jazzy for the tutorial, but... God, that, like, Dr. Mask is huge compared to his face. Mm hmm Okay, so I can actually care, uh, control her. So we can... I'm gonna have to use D-pad for this one. Is she a melee character? I don't know, actually. So she's got a couple. So she's got a basic attack, a dowsing flask, compress a compressed flask of water that explodes on impact, dealing 55% damage and inflicting Oh, wet. she has a bunch of flasks, Yeah, actually. so she's an apothecary. Flashbang... Uh, so dowsing makes them wet for three turns. Uh, blind, three tile square, or a volatile flask. Can be modified with additional status ailments. Let's see, damage is 69. Honestly, I think I'm going to go for the flashbang instead. Because if I do that, I should be able to hit two. Okay. Go from here. Let's see. Now, what does what does the main protagonist have as uh, their abilities? Basic attack, adrenaline rush. Body Rush, Rend Armor, and Sword Bash. Okay, so they have a sword. Yeah, unfortunately can't do anything about it at the moment. We also have Inspect, but I think we're just going to wait. Because, yeah, unfortunately she is not fast and doesn't have a ranged attack. like zoom in because it does feel like it's very zoomed out here oh there you go oh no nope. no that's only in combat uh like if an attack is going off it'll zoom in but it zooms in and out really quick warmancer if i remember yeah. it there's supposed to be like a ton of different available classes as well 
Uh, so each of these, so he's another apothecary. We had a war mancer earlier. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, cavalier. Uh, cavalier. 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 Ranger. And another ranger. So kind of an even mix. Her turn. We're going to get up behind. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. There's also... Uh, corpse markers. I don't remember if they turn into things. In Final Fantasy Tactics, uh, if you killed a character, they would turn into like a crystal. Uh, mm -hmm. And you could actually get like EXP or even stat points off of them. If I remember right. I don't know if that's going to be the case here. So I think I can get a little closer, but I, I get the distinct feeling... No? We might actually be able to hit. No. Oh, she got out of range. Yeah, looks like it. Looks like they're the only enemy left. Yep. Yeah, the rest have just gotten clobbered. I mean... It'd be kind of brutal if the first fight you had was, like, kind of unwinnable. Mm -hmm. On the flip side, it's probably going to be a win the battle, lose the cutscene situation. Oh, it's me again. We want to do... Oh, support class. Kills a small amount of HP, increases defense and magic defense for a couple of turns. Useful, but, uh, die. Get flasked. Mission complete. And that's also a very Art Nouveau font. Yeah. I like it. Like I see Art Nouveau thrown around a lot, but I see I don't see it very rarely used as like a primary art form within a game. Maybe just like here and there for character portraits. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. Flaming arrows? And that just annihilated everyone but the two characters that we were well, familiar with. Well, she did with. get hit, though. Oh. The, the wolf. I don't know if, if I should say wolf or wolf, considering wolf. it's German. Maybe. <laughs> Vashti Anita. I see Lucretia se sends you to run her fool's errand, then. It's truly a shame. I warned Desmond this would end with you dead. But I'm glad he wasn't here to see you like this. Mangy dog. Lying destitute in the dirt. But don't worry. I'll put you down quickly. I owe him that much at least. What? Gods be damned, you're not Vashti. Even more disgraceful than that traitor. Disgusting, disgusting cur scrounging about for scraps from her master's table. So she wasn't actually the main character. Really? Then Just why were they describe... calling her Vashti then? I don't know. Well, she was wearing a blonde wig. Mm -hmm. The only dog I see is you, Wolf. Came to eat from Venezia's outstretched hand and carry out her every whim. <gasps> oh, wait. She oh. spit. Oh, I, I just didn't know if she drank something or... No. At least we're still wild. Now she has a poison dagger, so she might try and stab him. Sir, the forest! It, it's on fire! What? Lucretia, you cunning little fox. Fall back! Everyone fall back to the camp! Now, is she gonna stab him? Times have changed your... Uh, times have changed your so-called queen, haven't they? Lucretia burning a forest and her people just to save her own skin. You know nothing of Lucretia, and less of us, you bastard. Believe me, Ida, I know plenty of you. We both have our own little secrets, don't we? A shame yours die here. Oh. I thought she was given, like, a poison dagger to stab him with. Maybe that's why it cuts out? 
so you don't know what happens? I maybe. I just he kept turning his back, and I'm like, all right, is she gonna stab him now? Now? Now. Okay, so Never. this is the Desmond, male protagonist. Probably. How sad. They're wilting. A bit symbolic, isn't it? I wish it weren't Des. Because that's Desmond. Mm hmm And when exactly were you planning on telling me she'd burn the whole forest? Before or after I went through with it? Or went through it? Hmm. It was meticulously planned, controlled to the tiniest detail. I knew you'd be fine, or I'd never have allowed it. And Ida? Did you count on her being fine? What? Ida? Is something happened to her? Wolf happened to her. His whole regiment fell on that forest. That monster... He better not have laid a finger on her. Is he the monster or the woman you fight for, sending Ida into that forest knowing full well it's burning around her? I don't fight for Lucretia any more than you fight for Wolf. We're fighting for ideas, Des. Wait, are they on opposite sides? Uh, maybe, yeah. And we better make damn sure their idea is worth fighting for. Our friends are falling on their swords for ideas. Ida. Des, how did we get here? I didn't want any of this. You know that. You did, Vash. We both did. The moment we chose sides, we asked for this. Then why did you call me here? I wanted to see you again. To tell you that we march on Lucretia's outpost in Rodham Hills tomorrow. It doesn't matter. We abandoned Rodham weeks ago. Something tells me you knew that already. Go east, Vash. Leave this war and go east. I can't. You know that, Des. This is the last time that we can meet like this. Lucretia's becoming suspicious. And Des... About Ida. I hope you're wrong, but if not, I'm sorry. Sorry won't make these runes a city again, Vash. But for what it's worth, I hope I'm wrong too. And please, just stay alive. No matter what it takes, stay alive. I... How is this possible? How can they choose sides, be on the opposite sides, side, and, and this isn't even just... This isn't some like kind a small of, conflict. This is like this a... Is, this is all-out war. Yeah. This, I... I don't think I could remain friends with somebody on the opposite side of a civil war from me. Mm-mm. Not unless I, like, had a very good reason to be on the opposite side from them that wasn't opposed to theirs. But boy, that's... There are very few situations where that would be true. Unless they were both civilians, but they seem to be soldiers. Yeah, and the thing is, they're... They are feeding each other information, which you would think that if you knew someone in your ranks had a lover on the opposite side, that... They just could not be trusted with any vital information. Yeah. Oops. 
Chapter 1, The Desperate and Downtrodden Two years earlier, the Italian throne room. So it looks like they were all pretty close to the leaders, or, or the, you know, king and queen in the palace. So there's the apothecary. I've done what I can, your majesty, but the fever has worsened. None of the poultices are strong enough. So that's Queen Venezia, huh. But he can recover. He might, with rest. Don't spare her because it's her husband. Will he recover? No, he has two weeks, three at most. Use every poultice, every herb. I don't care what it takes. Do everything you can. You do understand me. But you'll be done, your majesty. Is she only feigning? Oh, uh, yeah. It because... Hmm. Your majesty, about Annalise. Oh, Lucretia. I'll fight the apothecary. We need proof. A bottle of poison. Powdered adderroot rot. Is it adderroot or adderot? It looks adderot. like adderot. Anything. Do you think... Oh, that was... That was another one of the allies. Yes. What shall we do, milady? Hold them off. I need time. But if we can prove that she's killing him, this kingdom will, uh, will be set right. Oh, they all just spawned right there in a line. Waltzing into the viper's nest, not the smartest move, Lucretia. It's so poorly disguised, your father would be so, uh, your father would be disappointed. My father, and your king, lest you forget, would be proud, you fool. And when I prove this pretender on my throne has been poisoning him, We'll see who's in the viper's nest. Take up arms! Quickly! Wait, do they just fight then and there? I suppose so, yeah. But at that moment, did Desmond... It looks like she's on the side of the queen at this point. Yeah. So she must must have seen or heard something as part of this. Same with Ida. Okay. How many can I get down? Five. What is Santiago? Warmancer? War Just the male version. Mm -hmm. Ranger, Cavalier, and another apothecary. Let's do that. Commence fight. I can only get so many characters out at once. All right, begin the battle. So. Uh, let's see. It's ranger versus ranger, and then I have some time. What does she have? Arrow rain. Alas. Can't actually hit him, unfortunately, but we can hit, hit her. stained glass in the back. They they do have this motif of flowers. Tends to be pretty common. Okay. Can I volatile flask restoring flask? Oh, so we're lacking a lot of ours. Can I get to the point where I can actually kill that person? Probably not. But that's okay. Fireball. Just out of range. So why do you think Vash and Desmond, why do you think they diverge in their loyalties? Um... I mean, my assumption is either... I mean... Was it just a thing of the whole he said, she said when it came to whether or not the queen was actually poisoning? 
the king and then but after a certain point you have to ask yourself would the kingdom be in better hands with the queen or with one of the princesses you know what i mean yeah and as of yet i haven't seen what their policies are if you know what i mean yeah so i i would i would say based on past experiences with other games um i i would assume that the queen is evil and that Vash vashti is kind of morally dubious here well no no no. at this point she has no reason to doubt the queen as of yet But the princess, she was saying, find something, find evidence. Yeah, find evidence that the uh, the king's been poisoned. Yeah, so it's not like they were planting any. It's that they were trying to find something. Yeah. 37, how much damage? 27. Eight. Another warden mage, but he's got a fireball. And he heals for 32, actually. Mm -hmm. It says a small amount, but it is not small. Okay. I, I'm going to assume that the queen is actually evil, did in fact poison the king. Um, I mean, the, the introduction definitely implied that she was waiting for the king to die. But pretty much outright said it. Yeah, and then obviously from like a succession perspective, she doesn't. She, she wants would herself. become regent as opposed to queen. Mm -hmm. At least according to, uh, I don't want to say well, what other, I know of medieval law. The other issue too is that it seems as though both of his heirs were were women. Yeah. And it's one of those things where they said that the one daughter. Well, both of them didn't seem interested in marriage. So was it a situation in which, well, then would the queen be expected to remarry too at some point? Uh, that, that's the thing. No, the queen would become a, a regent mm -hmm. uh, and take over until... One of the princesses could marry, but... Yeah. Okay, so she has shield triage. Protecting Cavalier, all allies in two tight. Oh, that's interesting. Like twice. Same target. No. I'm just gonna finish her off. She was next in the turn order. Yeah, I guess the real question is where does Desmond stack up in all of this? And I'm going to assume he's just being a, a dumbass. I mean, potentially just loyal soldier. Because it seems as though he's always been a, a soldier under Wolf. Yeah. Is it? I don't know. It, it seems like it's one of those where he's more vested in maintaining the status quo and ending the war than any kind of like who actually has the right to rule. Whereas Vashti might care a little bit more, or might have cause to dislike the queen more, mm -hmm. that Desmond isn't willing to go to bat for, which, you know, I'm reserving most of my judgment for later, because who actually knows? Mm -hmm. But it just goes back to, I don't know how they can possibly reconcile. Yeah, it's kind of where mm -hmm. I'm at, is like, from my own experiences, uh, the... Let's see, quick attack. Yeah, there we go. Uh, any kind of conflict that I'd be on the opposite side of from you would probably be irreconcilable. Worn iron armor. There you go. War spoils. Well, maybe that's what they meant by the whole wilted flowers. Yeah. Their I mean, the relationship other thing has is, definitely suffered. Desmond could also just be acting as a spy and will turn coat at some point later in the story. But look at it. 
She even has a slinky black dress. Yeah, that's usually not a good sign. Which, I hate to typecast a character based on slinky black dresses, but if we're talking about, like, visual language for characters... Well, that and she has thorns around her hair. Yeah, she's kind things. of over-symbolic. I would love for her to actually be just actually kind and benevolent, but that's very unlikely to be the case. The last of them. Oh, the poison bottle? My father is dying because of that apothecary, you traitor. And now I have the proof I need. Proof? Some putrid slop you extracted from a chamber pot. Don't make me laugh. Laugh all you want. But soon the world will know the truth. You've been poisoning your king. Oh, so Annalise is a much younger girl by the looks of it. Sister, you've come for me? Oh, thank the gods. They wanted to send me away to Leith. Oh, okay. Well, there goes the, the poison. Oh, what? what? Wow, that's kind of stupid. What have you done, Annalise? Get back. Oh, she's holding her sister hostage? I'm sorry, sister. I'll come for you. I'll find a way once I'm queen. But you must be strong. Don't bother following me, Wolf. Your guards aren't as loyal as you may think. And you're waiting for what exactly? Follow her now! You still love your traitor of a sister, do you? Even after that. I want her gone. Tomorrow you'll escort Annalise to Cairn Monastery and leave her there till Lucretia's dealt with. Do I make myself plain? Annalise? Oh, Annalise, won't the king object to his daughter's exile? King Turgon is all but dead. Every day she's here, we're harboring an imminent threat to the queen's life. Wait, how is Annalise a threat? I, they're just trumping up charges. She shall live. That alone is a mercy. Give her safe passage through Amblemere, and let me know when it is finished. Yes, your majesty. You, you'll need soldiers. Conscript some troops for the trip to the recruitment center. Outfit them with whatever items you see fit. Ida. Desmond and I shall take care of it. Good. And impress on this child what happens to those who commit treason against the crown. Uh... What? Wait, was that person dead? Yeah, that's one of the, uh, the people in the back. Mm -hmm. That's one of uh, Lucretia's soldiers. But I thought that sh that one was alive when we were fighting in the forest. Uh, I mean, it's a. It default could just be another portrait. generic. Yeah. NPC. Okay. And Wolf, take care to have this tested. If it is indeed poison, I'll have that apothecary worm flayed alive. If you insist. <laughs> the sprite's loaded back in. Mm -hmm. Okay, item shop, recruiter, and tavern. Recruit and rename units from the recruiter. Equip your units with the latest equipment at the item shop. More at the tavern will unlock later in the story. From the world map, you can also access troop management, learn skills, change equipment, and more. Alright. Progress the story, go to the red node on the map. So, does the girl get away? in the middle of the forest, or what do you think happens? Dunno. We ruins? Yeah. I suppose we're supposed to take her to a monastery. Okay. Oh. There's respect training. Okay, so choose a new starting class and regain all class points, keeping the current level. 
Uh, hints about the type of units you'll encounter. Other strategically useful details to contract missions. Item shop discount. Seller's market. Let's see. Recruitment discount. Unit renaming discount. Arcadian. Ah, money. Traversal mm -hmm. kit. Light boots and wooden shoes, and then some rings. Okay, how much does it cost to recruit a character? Well, we only need two characters. I'm gonna double check one thing. Wait, what was the you can only have three at most? Then you don't five. need to recruit anyone else, do you? So I can, ha I can have five characters in combat currently. Oh. I think it goes up higher later, but unlikely at the moment. Well, then you might want to recruit two more, right? Yeah, I just want to see how expensive items are. Oh, okay. Oh, look, it's a giant bearded dragon. It, so it is. <laughs> okay, unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot of money for much of anything. Uh, oh, we already have characters. Oh, you already do. Yeah, then I don't need to recruit uh, anybody. Okay, you might just want to equip them then. Okay. And you also do have that armor set from the battle itself. Yeah, but we already had that. So 10 extra HP. We could get the boots. Can I? No. It has to be on a character by character basis. Uh, let's see. Linen robe. Kind of worth it, but it's kind of expensive. That's extra jump. I'm not convinced. I like a whole lot of these options. That she uses a hammer. Yeah, so most of the gear that we can get only increases my like stats by one. Only one point? Uh, yeah. I don't know how much. Oh, I do have a lot then. of money. So in retrospect, I can at least buy some helmets. I don't think I'll bother with the boots. But yeah, the helmets give them 10 extra HP. Oh, okay. That is, yeah, that's better. I didn't realize we had 5,000 gold. I thought we had 1,000 for some reason. Okay, so we do have a wooden crossbow, but it's worse. Item details? Ah. Damage calculation. Attack times 2.4. Minus target defense plus magic defense over 2 versus 2.8. Good thing we have the game calculating this. Could you imagine doing that in a tabletop RPG? Uh, I've done it before. It's annoying. <laughs> See, this is where I would have expected the music to be jazzy, and it's not. No, this is still jazzy. Kind of. It, it's still very jazzy. I suppose so. Okay, so that's a decent amount he of equipment. He was just about to go into a da -da 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 rift. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, so let's go back to the recruiter real quick. Let's see. Yeah, do we have any other classes? Apothecary, Warmancer, Rangers. And Cavaliers. So it looks like those are the only classes we have available. So in that case, why don't we just take a look at one of these? I mean, honestly, maybe I'm going to save up for the scout report. Nice. Well, let's go on the road. Uh, One last place to Wait, visit. Wait, was there a place called Erebor? Uh, maybe. You'll have to go out to the map again. Ah. Chatter. So we have a bunch of. Oh, more. wait. The Magical Purge. Former yeah. Queen Patricia. Ooh. So what does he say? Poor woman. I feel like she wasn't given a fair shake as queen. After her youngest died, they said she poisoned him out of malice. King Tyrgan uh, and her never really got along, I suppose, or so they say. He always loved his children more, especially that Lucretia. I can't blame him. She's easy on the eyes and strong spirited. To have Patricia executed. If you ask me, he did it just to marry that Venezia woman. No blue blood in that one. Ooh. Illegitimate oh. sisters. 
You want to read this one? Sure. The story of Lucretia and Annalise, a uh, Belneve, is a sad one. The two girls often would be heard playing in the Dantalian courtyard, but that was years ago. After marrying the king, Queen Venezia wasted no time in declaring both girls illegitimate, and around that time, rumors began swirling that King Tyrgen was ill. Between you and I, that timing seems a little too convenient. <laughs> it's definitely the bartender, though. Oh. Their city wasn't much more much before Turgon's war with Volan. The iron and spices in the Boltus Mountains made it is made it what it is today. As the tide of wars started turning to Turgon's side, the influx of trade brought brought many to the capital, looking for work and riches. Some found it, and the others, well, you'll likely find them drinking themselves to death. Well, ending well, ending years ago, we haven't really forgotten the war with Volan. Day in and day out, I still hear the stories of families torn apart, and young men conscripted just to die in the mountains. And King Caltrain II of Volin's capital in Serov died under mysterious circumstances. Some say black magic burnt the skin from his bones. Others that an assassin took his life in the bat houses. It took weeks for the news to reach the soldiers. It's still common to hear songs commemorating the boys the boys killed days after Kil uh, Caldrin, uh, Caltrain. Caltrain the second met his end. Their lives caught in limbo between a war that ended long before they stopped fighting it. I'll let you do this one, my voice is... Magical Purge. If you're just wanting history lesson, that's fine, but don't ask for more than that. Magic is and has been forbidden in Tropis for a long time, and for good reason. Ask anyone in the neighboring hamlets, and they'll tell you horror stories of dark magic. People bleeding from their eyes and mouths, writhing in the dirt and as foul creatures crawl from their bellies. Ew. Such magic has no place here. We should have abominations who practice such things to Volin or Leith. And good riddance, I say. Channeling natural energies? Water? Fire? What have you? That's your business, but just keep it to yourself. So there's natural magic and dark magic, but they just decide to blanket ban all of magic. See, look, Erebor. Oh, Tropis. Yeah. It's a different spelling, though. Ah. Wait, wait, is that the Carpathian Mountains? Yes. Lowlands. But, but the Carpathian Lowlands. Rom. Seco Desert. Serav. Volan. Andros. Lahore. And Darmouth? Uh. Darmouth? Maybe. That actually looks like two eyes. No, it's that's an H. It's probably Darmouth, but there's. There's no bar between there them. There is a the bar H. between them. Up oh. at the very top. Remember, it, it's a weird Oh, you're font. right. It's just really small. I see it up here. Okay. Well, let's go to the weight runes. Deployable units five. Yeah, I don't need to recruit anybody else. It's a cute little world map. Fight! Fight! Boy, she is bent over. Hopefully this runs on my i uh on my Steam Deck. Cause I definitely would like to start playing some tactics games again. But I gotta go back and finish some on the some of the other ones. Uh we really should go around, shouldn't we? Isn't Amblemere further south? This is apparently a faster route. It's not on the map though. Oh, did they already set him up? Yeah. And, well, it's kind of creepy. Huh. I sort of like it. And the map is pretty useless, to be fair. The roads are all pre-war. I just don't really... Uh-oh. Oh, are these bandits or something? No, no, fellas. This isn't the best place to be slinging spells around. Can we all agree to put away our ice shards or just for a second and talk this through? Oh, isn't he the one that was depicted with the young girl? Maybe. Oops, I hope that potion wasn't important. Ah, hello there. Oh, so the Warmancer thug is in the ruins, I suppose? How the hell did that scam artist weasel out of here? You're here just in time. 
Some dangerous mages have shacked up in there. Escape from Leith, most likely. They use blood magic on me, and spirit magic, and uh, some gurgling gut magic just tossed in for kicks. I'll level with you. They're vicious, but you're clearly capable of handling this without me. Really, I'd be in the way. In fact, I'll just go. Up, oh, see, there's one of those cards. Oh, that guy. Yeah, see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's using the introduction. Yeah, I'd forgotten for a moment. I was too busy staring at his cards that I never paid attention to the rest of the sprite. Mm -hmm. Gosh, dear, are you crazy? Get away from that stuff. Oh, a raccoon critter. Oh, no, it's going to eat it and then turn into a monster, isn't it? You can actually have a raccoon soldier. Oh, what did I tell you? I don't know what that liquid does, but we may have a raccoon-sized problem on our hands. I like it how it immediately grabs the knife. Mm hmm I told you we shouldn't have come this way. Uh, <laughs> ow. Looks like he's fighting on our side, so let's not bicker about it. Gather the troops and weapons at the ready. Oh, boy. That is not the party member I was expecting to recruit. <laughs> Immediately, too. Just random raccoon, drinks liquid, becomes friend. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, but it's not... They're not officially in your party yet. Okay, so we do have another apothecary. And let's grab... The war mage. All right, commence fight. I thought magic was. All right, they're up high. He slings fire. Ah. I do hope they have more battle music than just this one. I can see my see it getting slightly old mm -hmm. after like a couple hours. There's some some music sometimes that is just like, yep, I can listen to this as much as I want forever. Are we just going to lose Ida right from the get-go, or are we lucky? Also, where did the raccoon go? I don't know. Ouch. You are right about... Yeah, she got hit by that icicle and lost half her health. Yeah. She heals reasonably well. Ah, fireball. fireball. 17 damage. 27. 20. Start working on that ranger. Now this is our other guy. But he can only heal. But honestly, it's not the worst. I guess he can attack, but it's not. I really need to get her some movement speed. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh. So I can do this shield triage. I'll take it. Okay, so we can do. Do that, hit both of them. Hey, good damage, too. Are they just all going to be wailing on her? <laughs> oh. You know what? Honestly, though, if all she has to do is sit there and heal herself repeatedly, then so be it. Characters just like skip a turn. Might have. Okay. 21 damage, but full health. 26. Oh, okay. So we do take more damage if we're on those tiles. Well, yeah. I, there's currently fire on them, right? Yeah. 
probably want to hop off at some point. Yeah. Now, one thing I want to point... Oh. What's up? Uh, about her hair. I just thought it was interesting. No, 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 no. Going back to the main character, Vashti. Yeah. Where did the bang... Like, where does her part begin? Uh. Because don't you notice how the front hair at her forehead, it seems to oh, kind of loop yeah. over continuously? Yeah. Huh. It was just an interesting thing. I've been looking at everyone's hair. We've got rend armor and we've got sword bash. Basic attack does 100% of damage. 22, 23. It's a warm answer to that. Oh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Can I actually hit down from here? Or do yes, you have to I be can. level? Oh, you can? Yep. There you go. What happens if the character gets knocked out? Well, there's our answer. Okay, so don't take damage moving through those. I don't know if I can heal him. 22 or 19. Okay, fireball. Who is most vulnerable? 24, 22, 27. I think I want to take out their apothecary, seeing as they've got heals. Could do a basic attack. Twenty-five. No. I think it's better that I just go for a heal. Not that good. I still find the image hilarious of just having your allies throw bottles at you and having it just soak into your skin or something. Concussive healing potions. Yeah, I, I think I would be a little offended if that was how my allies healed me. I'd be like, can you get like something softer? <laughs> seem to be doing fine. Uh, now, that's an interesting thought. If there's a spot that's currently being inhabited by a corpse, is, do you have to step around them? You can't step on them, correct? Uh, yeah, it looks... Because they're not poofing out of existence like they might in other games. Hard to say exactly. Yeah, see? She can't move into the spot next to her. Good to know. Alright, and then there was one. Oh, she did a backstab. Yeah, but it's only them. And it doesn't seem to do more bonus damage, it just reduces their evasiveness. Um... I'm mostly trying to decide... No, let's just go for a heal. I was trying to decide if I could actually kill him in time. The thing about this is you don't know if a character dying... Oh, wait! Did you lose Desmond? Yeah, he got knocked down. Uh-oh. Now, I notice he has a star next to his skull. So does that just mean he's a main character that can't die, die permanently? Potentially? Because... 
I would think that I, I'm curious if you can recruit characters if it means that you can have characters that die and they die permanently. Uh, you know, I don't know. It varies on the game. I know in uh, Final Fantasy Tactics, you could lose a character permanently. I'm assuming in this one, you just can't revive them anymore. Oh, also notice they have a death counter. How it goes three, two, one. Yeah. So he actually only has one more turn. Yep. Are you going to try to revive Desmond? Is there a I way? I don't know how. Like, I could try throwing a restoring flask at him and see if it does anything, but I don't think it revives. So I think I'm actually better off just taking out this character. Hopefully before his one ticks down to nothing. Yep. Because watch him die and it says, sorry, game over. You have to restart this whole encounter. Uh, it has happened to me in the past. Oh, wow. He actually does a lot of damage in melee. Oh, there we go. And Desmond is fine. Oops, that's a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Good to know. And the raccoon didn't participate at all. Nope. Explain what happened here before you end up like the others who attacked us. It... 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 Ram you want. You brought us here to find something powerful. But there were traps. Horrible traps. Everywhere. My... My sweet Gunther, his, his face, he just touched the wire for a moment. We were tricked. There's something awful in that place, some kind of terrible magic. See, I told you. Told us? Told us what exactly? Listen, Fash, this place reeks of forbidden magic. Something horrible is going to happen if we don't leave now. You told us what? I don't remember you telling us that. He didn't. What are you doing? Are you crazy? You can't touch that. Put it down, do you hear me? Breathe for a second, Des. It's just a playing card. He sounds like you. What? What do you mean? <laughs> you see anything, you're like, stop doing that. <laughs> do this. Do that. What do you mean? You will see a, like an email or a game and you'll start barking orders. I'll be like photoshopping something and Shell's like, remember to change the outline. I'm like, yes. <laughs> well... For the email things, you just never know nowadays. Yeah, but like really I'll be, be I'll be scanning to see if art the art is legit or not, and she'll be like, "Is it?" And she'll like come close and like loom, and I'm like, "I'm mm -hmm. already checking it. I already can identify if it's bad." It says the fool does. Oh, so it's either the I suppose it would be the Joker or the first of the Arcana. The fool. So, wrong place, wrong time with this one, huh? Wait. Oh, the raccoon's back there. Yep. I see him on out. the little, little tower there. Can you walk? I, I think so. Then go home and don't ever say the word magic again. Your mother wouldn't want her daughter spending a lifetime exiled in Leith. Why, were they supposed to be a bunch of kids? I don't know. Or teenagers, perhaps? Oh, well, you coming along or not? He licked something magical, Des. I thought we weren't supposed to meddle with that sort of thing. He never asked to become this. Besides, he's cute and seems like a competent ranger. Rather than ha rather have him on our side than someone else's. Well, look at you, so progressive. I 
knew you had a heart in there somewhere. Poncho joins the party. Poncho. <laughs> the timing with that music was uh, way too good. Maybe they did it intentionally. New items in the item shop, compendium entries, and compendium in Shatter in the Tavern, Tavern have unlocked. Check them regularly. Also, feel free to experiment with any combination of units and battles. Each unit participating in battle gains level in 1 CP for kills at the end of the, every fight. And special characters like Bashi, Desmond, and Enda, Ida, and Pancho will auto-level with your party throughout the story. Wait, uh, so does this whole story occur in the two years prior to that? Battle? No, we probably catch up, and that's the end of, like, Act 1 or 2. Okay, so main menu and troop management. So specifically, so we can promote characters, but maybe not these. Contracts, can't do it. That. Skill tree. Hey, okay, so we have class points. The well, uh, tactical movement training increases speed while equipped. Uh, so that's when they show up on the turn order. Oh, can we? Okay, so we also have stats for one-handed and two-handed weapons. Oh, so we can also level these up a little. So, more damage. Different... So these are passives up here. These are active skills. All units in a five-tile line. Five-tile cross, sorry. In front of the Cavalier, doing damage. Ooh, that's kind of good. Increases evasion while a shield is equipped. Increases attack with a one-handed sword equipped. What else do we have? Extra max HP, chance to fracture targets, limp them. Defense every time the Cavalier is hit with a melee skill. Uh, jump or evasion. And then we also have... Two-handed weapons. I'm just going to boost her damage as much as possible. Okay, mm -hmm. we can do bumpers. So he, also Cavalier, same setup. Well, uh, he had Rend Armor. I think I was liking Sword Bash. Fails against flying enemies. Oh yeah, we already knew that. Just boost the damage. Uh, let's see. So extra movement. Ah, due to the Apothecary sense of urgency will equip. Oh. Let's see, max SP, max SP. Extra movement is tempting, but what else do we have? So, more healing. Potency of all healing. Ah, once per battle, throw a class that revives a unit with a small amount of HP. When hit with any target magic sk skill, gain regen. Splash healing to all allies. I don't think we can get... Ah, poison to the volatile flask. Let's get the revive. Because that seems useful. And then let's grab healing surprise. So whenever hit with a single target magic skill, gain regen. So what's Poncho got? <laughs> Ignore evasion when targeting them. Increasing the accuracy of shots. Extra evasion. Uh, silencing shots. Noxious arrow. It doesn't look like it can be upgraded at all. Ice and wet and fire. Burning against... Oh, burning against foes with noxious. Oh, so you have to put noxious on them and then put them on fire? Yep. It looks like fire, Poncho uses crossbows. To attack when using a crossbow, pinning shot, vital shot, shrapnel shot. Crit chance every time the ranger is hit with a single target skill. And reduce... Ah, dig in, reduce speed. But increase damage. But he's out of points for the time being. Oh, we can also change... So we have a range of skills, but we can then add an extra support, reaction, and move skill. But we have to learn one of those. Uh, and I'm assuming we don't have... It. Ah, she's got healing surprise. And he's got nothing. Okay, and then we've got all the other characters, but that's going to take some managing. What else do we have? Uh, Not too much, I don't think. I guess 
we might as well head back to town very briefly. Uh, let's go to the tavern. Where's Where's the little princess in all of this? I'm just following us, I suppose. You saw a raccoon do what now? I've never heard of such a thing. But these are wild times with e with dangerous people and creatures running amok east of here in that cesspool of Olin. Can't feign surprise. Certainly there's talk of people rising from the dead, their bones held together by some dark ritual, and beasts scouring the dark recesses of the world. But I've never seen it. Magic artifacts. It's bad form to speak of such things, but yes, it's true. There are some places which long ago stored artifacts, instruments, and other dangerous things for use in magical rituals. Where they are, or what they may be, or what they may contain, I couldn't say. Nor am I gunning to find out. I rather like keeping my head down. You understand? I recommend you do the same. Alright, and that looks like that's all of it. Alright. Well, I think for now, this is a good stopping point. I know we've barely scratched the surface, but uh, the battles are kind of long. Um, Wait, was that say booking Annalise? Is that... Oh, Talith doesn't go quite as smoothly as hoped. Ah. Uh, so she's actually going on a... There's a port there. Well, this is Leith here. So yeah, Annalith, so they have to go across the ocean. Yeah, so Annalith is probably some kind of port city uh, on the island or town. Well, it was a monastery at the very least. Yeah. Anyway, um, I like this game a lot. It very much fits the same general style as uh, Tactics Ogre and Final Fantasy Tactics. I could, I, I do kind of wish it had a little bit more interesting things right from the outset, just to make it stand out. But I'm sure it's one of those that you just have to work your way up. What's Poncho using? Balanced crossbows. He's already loaded with that. Oh, no, we already have a linen tunic. Oh, and we do have a power ring. Oh, that seems worth investing in. Before we go too much further, ah, the wooden shoes might be better. So power ring increases our damage by two, but the wooden shoes increases our movement speed. Maybe not on him, uh, but on my melee characters. I think they could use the wooden shoes. Okay. Uh, anyway, so Arcadian Atlas is available now on, oh, I should check to see if it's on anything other than just Steam. I'm just going to quickly bring myself along for the ride here. Mm -hmm. uh, so it is it's 30, buck nor 30 bucks normally down to twenty two fi or twenty five fifty uh, for launch day. But I got to check. Is it on Switch? Uh, ah, later in 20, uh, 2023 for consoles. So it's a Switch only thing at the moment. But uh, I, I could very much see this being you like... You mean the Steam only? Yeah, sorry. Did I say Switch? I'm yes. Playing. <laughs> uh, it's a Steam only thing for now, but it very much feels like the perfect kind of game to play on a Switch or a Steam Deck in handheld mode. Maybe that's me just coming from the perspective of uh, playing endless Final Fantasy Tactics Advance on my Game Boy Advance when I was much younger. Um, but this this absolutely hits that that perfect nostalgia. Um, I mean, it's kind of like how you'd play a first person shooter with a mouse. For yeah. higher accuracy, but for tactics games, because they're turn-based, you just... It, it's a lot easier on handheld systems, yeah. or for handheld systems. And I think also just easier to get cozy. But maybe, again, that's a me thing. I know people that played Final Fantasy Tactics 1, uh, at least played it originally on the uh, on the PS1. And then, of course, Tactics Ogre was a N64 game. And a PlayStation game? I forget. Loading screen. Uh-oh. It might have actually frozen on us. Uh-oh. Oops. Anyway, so with all of that said, uh, I'd like to see where this goes. The story seemed interesting. Kind of traditional medieval uh, uh, war for succession. Yeah, no, it is locked up on me. Oh, for the continue button? Yeah. You can't. It ain't, pro ain't progressing. Well, let's see if it auto saves because I haven't actually saved yet, I don't think. I didn't see anything about saving, so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's fine. Anyway. Uh, so with all of that said, do you have anything else you want to say before we go? Oh, I mean, definitely interesting that they do have this world in which there was a war with another opposing country that uses magic. And it, that seems like it's going to be a theme. But yeah, how is it going to play out when the two main protagonists are on opposite sides of this war? Okay, bad news for me. You have to start all over again. Yeah. Oh. Ouch. 
starting chapter save early and... save often apparently and devs if you somehow watch this please add an auto save unless i could have actually continued and it would have continued from an auto save i have no idea or if it's you have to start the next encounter for it to save i think no. i just needed to actually save save which is my issue um... anyway so with okay i was gonna say it's like this game just apparently hates me so uh anything else to say no not really so if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave us a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because we've got tons oh, boy i stumbled over that word uh hit subscribe because we've got tons to check out and show off with that thanks for watching we'll see you next time